Do you know what that is? Do you know how to get around that? I mean, everybody, yeah, e excellent. Yeah. Alan, really good question is everybody is like a locked treasure chest. Yeah. And all they need is someone to find the right key and they open up that magic treasure chest. Um, everybody's got an incredible, incredible gift inside mm -hmm. them. Um, everybody has an incredible vitality that they could unleash no matter what their age. Right. You know, I've seen people late at 73 year old woman um, healed of breast cancer that I've worked with in the past wow. um, who went 100% raw at 73 years old. So there, it's always there for us. The laws of nature are unchanging, mm. they're unbending, and we can always fall back on them for health, wealth, success, whatever we want in life. So the basic key that you found is that people will feel better, that they'll love their life more, they'll um, be more creative. Gratitude, mm. they'll, they'll, be more gra um, they'll have more gratitude for being alive. By eating more, live food. Yeah, by eating live food. More mm. conscious, not only of, of the food they're eating, but of all the way that we're interacting with the planet. Uh -huh. I've noticed raw foodists love to begin gardening and growing plants. Um, it just connects you more with the earth. And it'll actually give them more of a reason for being alive. I mean, yes. Because that's the thing I see with people. They don't even know if they want to be here. So they slowly committing suicide by eating dead food, by smoking cigarettes, by drinking coffee. If they start this little switch, maybe something will be activated. You got it. That's you're exactly right. That's right. Great. So if people want to reach you, you want to just give a number because I think you're a great oh, yeah. resource. Sure. Um, I'm, I have a new 800. Oh, it's actually an 888 number. It's 888 raw food, which is very simple. So. Right. And you're available for consultations and. Um, yes. Actually, you, when people call to order books, generally I give them a, a consultation on the phone. That's what that's what I do. That's and it's basically the same thing. What you've kind of laid out here. Um, yeah, exactly. Along the lines, I've given a lot of information. I know I've thrown a lot out at the audience here, but um, every one of us is born with a perfect memory, uh -huh. and we still have that. And so if everyone is just, just to remember everything that I said, and everyone can, they could really make a change and really just, you know, those, those ideas can really stick in the mind. So the one final question, because we're sort of running out of time, is do you have to do the gallbladder flush? Is that part of the whole detoxification? Because it doesn't quite seem like a natural process to put all that olive oil in you. Good, good yeah. point. Okay, yeah. that's a great point. Yeah, what's natural and what's not? We've done a lot of unnatural things uh -huh. to the body. For example, we've put a lot of like fillings in the mouth, a lot of mercury in the right. mouth, and the body do doesn't want that there. The body's going, I don't want this stuff there, but it can't get it out. So then we have to do some things to get the stuff out. Mm -hmm. Some things that may be less than the most natural, pristine way that we're supposed to be, but um, there are things that can help us. Huh. And that's a really important thing. That's something I've been exploring lately is what are these little types of adjustments we can do to make big changes happen very quickly? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people want. People don't want to go through you know, years of going through detoxification. They want to get all this stuff out quickly. Mm. The other thing is in a, a kind of cold, temperate environment, climate, um, is it feasible to really eat raw food? Because doesn't your body need to create heat in order to process those foods? So it's taking heat away, and, and people are generally colder. In the Chinese medicine field, they say it doesn't cr cr produce coldness. Good question. Raw food. Very so good question. And I, I know how to address that with the raw foods. Um, Potassium residue foods are heating foods, they're warming foods. Mm -hmm. So in the colder climates, we want to eat more potassium residue foods, which include bananas, which include um, dried fruits, uh -huh. which include uh, certain nuts, especially like macadamia, even almond, mm -hmm. which includes avocado, mm -hmm. um, which includes durian fruit. Those are very warming foods because they're potassium but residue foods. But they're all foods. tropical food. They do not grow in our local environment. Um, so in a way, it doesn't quite make sense to eat bananas in winter. I mean, if you're coming from a kind of macrobiotic standpoint. Yeah. Well, well you know, for example, um, there are foods like that will grow here. For example, nuts will grow right. in this climate perfectly. Walnuts, for example, are a very warming food. And it is best to, you know, eat, try to eat what grows locally here. But most people, anyway, they're eating bread that has pieces of that bread came from, you know, yeah. South America, came from Kansas, came from Canada. Mm. It's all put together and thrown in the food. Um, we can get away with, with a little bit of a, <laughs> right. you know. Because we've been eating so extreme. Right, before. exactly. Right. And the body, you know, the body right. always likes the food that, that's most local, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, right. In terms of the doing raw foods. But if people were growing up in an or evolving in this environment, what would they eat naturally without cooking? Like oh, nuts? like in the New York area? Yeah. Um, like well, wild green foods that grow here are uh -huh. amazing. Lamb's quarters, dandelion, uh -huh. chicory. Um, well, I, I guess I would say probably wild mustard grows here. I'm not m as familiar with uh, right. Malva probably grows here. 
um, right. with New York as I am in San, with San Diego vegetation. Right. And then also wild apples is a very big food here. Wild grapes was, this whole place was covered with wild grapes back uh -huh. when, the, uh, when the Vikings first came here and then also when the, um, when the uh, Indians were here and all that. Uh -huh. uh, and then also nuts. Mm. And so between those foods, what do we have there? We have the greens, the wild greens, and then we have the fats, the nuts that grow in the nut trees. Uh -huh. And then we also have the um, fruits. And that is really the three. That's, that's what all you, said you need. Yeah, it, that it, is. You have those three foods in your diet. You're going to be in excellent health if you have those in a significant percentage. Okay, great. I'm talking to David Wolf, um, author of Raw Power. No, you're author of Nature's First Law. This one. Nature's First Law, and a great live food specialist. He's in the New York area, but he has an office in San Diego. And what's the office number again? Uh, it's eight 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 Raw Food. Mm. One more question, just before I go. Yeah, I'd love, love to. Is that um, as people start to eat cleaner and cleaner, and they're um, cleaning up their body, if they kind of relapse or go in and eat some pizza, let's say, will they feel worse than they would have felt before because they're cleaned out, or will they not be as affected because they have more vitality? So, I mean, there's... So I don't know what Yeah, you okay. Say. Yeah. Yeah. What happens is over a lifetime of eating cooked foods again we become numb and then as we begin to eat more raw plant foods, we become more conscious and more aware. So that if we, you know, maybe do a digression and eat yeah. pizza or something, yeah. the body's gonna go, What are you doing? Let's get rid of this stuff quick. So the body will feel it more but be able to get rid of it quicker. I see. Um, and I see. so again, if that, that you know, everybody's going to go through this unwinding process, right. and it's okay to do that. Yeah. You know, you go three steps forward, two steps back, three forward, two back. You're still making progress, right? Um, right. So the best thing we can do, let's say, if we do do that again, we can just stuff ourselves with like a big salad and try to you know balance out that acid alkaline thing. Great. And it's really about wanting to be alive, wanting to, wanting to be vital. To yeah, it's about yeah. having a good time. I mean, every, everybody's searching after everything because they want to be happy. And this mm -hmm. is about a way to be happy, and you don't really need anything else. You just right. need to give yourself good stuff, and you're right. set. And I liked what you said. It's not about food. Food is just the means to getting us there. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, David. Hey, it's been a pleasure, Alan. Thanks for yeah. having me on. This is New Realities. My name is Alan Steinfeld, and uh, thank you for watching. I was talking to David Wolf, and if you have any questions about him or this show or any shows that you've seen recently, please call me at 212-473-6388. Thank you for watching.